Are you finding that you are living in your living room a lot lately? Well, if this feels like a prison, I'm gonna help you break out with this workout. If you can't get out, it's not time to quit. Pick yourself back up. You can still get fit. Home sweat. Home. Home sweat. Home. Today we are going to use this couch for something other than a Netflix nap spot. Clear things away and let's home sweat home this workout. Three exercises today that when combined deliver a full body satisfying workout. And later we'll be saying hello to my friend Jenny Hutt. Jenny is the host of Just Jenny on Sirius XM Radio. She's also a TV personality, author, and her personal exercise and health journey is impressive and motivating. I've asked Jenny to help us with our cool down after this workout and share her advice on how exercise can help our mental and physical health. She's a perfect example of movement potential. I got your bod covered today with this great workout and Jenny's got your brain covered. There are ups and downs with working out from home. Literally, down, down, up, up today with this exercise. Using a seat cushion or pillow, place it on the floor, stand towards the back of the cushion and on each side, and we're gonna lower our body down one knee at a time with keeping the hands at the chest level and clasp together and push them together, which will engage the chest. Give a nice squeeze and contraction there and keeping the upper body up, lower down. Let's go down with the right and then up with the right. And then let's alternate down with the left, up with the left. Really dig those heels down as you come up. Keep going, keep the chest up, squeeze that glute, really feeling it there. Feeling it also in the hamstring, the thighs, the core, clasping those hands is really going to engage the upper body, the chest, the arms. Make sure to keep good posture here. Squeeze those glutes. Do this for the duration of a long TV commercial break or roughly two minutes. If you have knee troubles or if this exercise is too advanced, let's do a modification. Standing close to the couch and we're gonna step back with one leg, soften the knee and be on the balls of the feet is totally fine and lean over and place a fist onto the couch and then the other one and then back up. Come to stand and reverse. Getting very similar results, engaging the glutes, the thighs, the hamstrings, the core, and the upper body with that slight lean forward with a plank. Exercise number two, pillow throw-ups till you, uh, I don't know, throw up. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling better now. Let's get to it. So this exercise is going to be a little hop, jump up, and a squat. And we're gonna make it a full body exercise by adding the pillow. So start standing generously outside a shoulder width apart, parallel feet, and as you toss that pillow up in the air, you're going to give a little jump, and then once you catch it, you're going to slam it down on the ground with a squat. Pick it up and repeat. Breathe. Make sure that your squat has perfect form here. As you come down, you wanna keep the heels down, go down as low as you can, drop that booty, open up those thighs, make sure that those knees are right over those toes, and as you come up, keep the chest up, perfect form. Toss that pillow, and as you jump up with the toss, you're going to flick and point those toes. Get up nice and high as high as you can, and slam. <laughs> Wish someone was here so that we could have a pillow fight. Great cardio exercise as well. Change of scenery for me and for you. Anything for the fitness and slots fans. All right. Do this until you either throw up or your body's slammed to the ground. <sighs> All right. I'm just kidding. Do this for roughly two minutes. 
All right, do me a favor here. Pump it up while your feet are stomping and the jam is pumping. And look ahead, not down, because the crowd is jumping. If you're needing a modification for this exercise, let's take away both the jump and the squat. Just raise that pillow up towards the ceiling and with a flat back, bend the knees and try and touch that pillow to the ground. And if that's too much range of movement and you want to limit that, you can simply raise it up and lower it down to the couch, keeping the chest up, shoulders down and back. Booty out. It's getting hot in here. Exercise number three, couch liftoffs. So we're gonna lay down in front of the couch, place your hands underneath the couch, and this is a great ab exercise, but we're gonna make it a full body exercise because we're going to gently put pressure upward motion with our hands onto the couch. Our knees are gonna be bent and our feet are flexed and together, and with the heels, we're gonna bring them up towards the ceiling. And we're gonna lift that booty on and off the floor, really squeezing and contracting the abs. And with that hand placement and that push up, we're engaging both the biceps, the chest, lats, shoulders. We're getting a great full body exercise all wrapped into one. Breathe in on the way down, breathe out on the way up. Really contract deep. Lower than the belly button, you're going to contract with an imaginary line from hip bone to hip bone. One minute here, which feels like a lifetime! The modification for this exercise is to sit in front of the couch, place your upper back onto the couch, place your hands on each side of your thighs, push down and lift the knees up toward the chest, up and down. And if that's too much, you can always alternate. Living room workout accomplished. Great job. If you enjoyed this workout, please give it a like and make sure you're subscribing to Fitness and Slots. Time for a cool down. Let's get a hamstring stretch. Bring your legs long in front of you. Place your forearms onto the thighs above the knees and lean over with the chest. While we are in this hamstring stretch, I've asked my good friend Jenny Hutt to share with us some inspiring movement and wellness advice. Hi, how are you? Well, hello. Thank you for saying all that. It's really sweet. I watch Home Sweat Home and it's really terrific. And the advice that you're giving is so important. Movement is really important to me. Every day I have to move my body. Every day I want to encourage people to move their bodies because I've found that a practice of daily movement keeps my anxiety at bay. I mean, I'm still anxious like much of the country, but I'm less anxious when I move. If I'm feeling sad, once I work out, I feel a lot better. It's like magic, no joke. Like moving my body has really changed my life. I know it sounds like hyperbole, but it's not. It's, uh, it's really changed me. I'm not as agitated. I'm still agitated, but I'm not as agitated. Uh, it's easier to maintain my weight. And look, my weight history, I, I used to be 70 pounds heavier. I lost that weight 10 years ago and I work really hard to stay where I am. Each day I do a different thing. Today I'm on my mini elliptical, some days I'm on my treadmill, some days I'm on my bike, some days I'm outside walking, but I try to keep in motion, constant motion like a shark maybe. I used to think that exercise was punishment. The fact that I had to do it, I would get enraged, I would cry. I'd do everything to avoid it. And then I changed my thinking around it and it became a choice and it became something that I realized I was doing for me, not doing it because I had to or someone was telling me to do it. And the minute I really made that shift, everything changed. Start moving, just start with five minutes a day. I promise you, you're gonna feel so much better than you do right now. All right, back to you, Craig, and yeah, no, teach me something. Did we have a doggy? I mean, not really, but something. Very grateful for that advice and motivation, Jenny. Make sure to follow Jenny on all her social media platforms. And thank you all for joining me today with this workout. If you have any questions for me, Jenny Hutt, or about this workout, please comment below. And if you don't know how to comment on YouTube, let me show you how. Simply tap here, 
where it says add a public comment, type it in, and press send. Till next time. Oh.